every medical treatment that's available today was discovered through research. It all starts with an idea and a person with a restless desire to bring it to life because every child deserves a lifetime. I'm Toby McDonald, and I'm director of the Pediatric Neuro-Oncology Program of the Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center of Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and Emory University. One of the exciting new developments that we've been working on in my laboratory for the past 10 years has been focused on a particular protein that actually allows cancer cells to survive, but it also causes the immune system not to react and recognize the cancer cell. That protein's called STAT3. And when you take a drug to target STAT3, you actively kill the tumor cells, but then you activate the immune system to further go in and sort of mop up the remaining cells that are still living. And after working on the target, STAT3, in the laboratory for a number of years, finally within the past five years, we were able to find a drug called WP1066. In collaboration with MD Anderson, who designed this drug, and it's very important because very few drugs actually get across into the brain to attack the cancer cells, and yet this drug WP1066 prefers to go into the brain and attack the cancer cells. Based on that, we now have an exciting new investigational trial that was opened in the spring of 2020. The trial is AFLAC ST1901, and we have already enrolled three patients on this clinical trial with the hope that we can find the maximum amount of this drug that is safe to give to children with malignant brain tumors that have no cure, and what are the toxic side effects, so that we can find the best amount of this drug to give to patients at the next phase of the study, or called phase two, when we take the drug to the national level, hopefully, through either the Children's Oncology Group, or the Pediatric Brain Tumor Consortium, to really test this drug to see if it is an effective new treatment for childhood brain cancer.